Hi, this is Brett from SR Moto, and this is our 2021 Honda CRF 300L project bike. Today I wanted to do a quick video, talk about foot controls for the CRF 300L and CRF 300L Rally, specifically foot pegs, rear brake pedals, and shift levers. So that's what I'm gonna talk about here in a second. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put links in the video description down below to each of the products that I talk about in this video. So once you're done watching the video, if you're interested in any of those, check that video description. I'll link you over to our online store where they are available for purchase. I'll also link you over to this project bike if you wanna see any of the other parts and accessories we've installed in it over the last year. So again, I wanted to talk about foot pegs, rear brake pedals, and shift levers for the 2021 and up standard CRF 300L or the CRF 300L Rally. Now, to get this bike at the price point that Honda wanted to get it at, they obviously have to cut some corners here and there. One of the places that they really tried to save money is on the controls, specifically like the foot pegs, the brake lever, rear brake lever, or brake pedal, uh, the shift lever, stuff like that. This is the stock foot pegs, shift lever and rear brake pedal. All of them, all three items made out of cheap steel, you know, easily damaged in a crash, um, just not very durable. Uh, in the case of the foot pegs, they're very narrow, so they're not very comfortable. You know, when you stand up on them, they're also kind of vulnerable to damage. If you hit them on something, they bend really easily. Shift lever isn't too bad. I mean, it does have a folding tip on it, which is nice, but it's made out of steel, so it's gonna bend easily and the rear brake pedal, non-adjustable, uh, no folding tip, and it's made out of that cheap steel material. So a lot of our customers tend to upgrade these items right away. I know as soon as we get one of these bikes, we pull all this stuff off the bike and replace it with some good aftermarket stuff. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, first off, I'll talk about foot pegs. Now, again, the stock pegs are pretty narrow. Uh, if you look at uh, one of the aftermarket pegs that we carry, this is the DRC Ultra Wide. This is our most affordable uh, foot peg that we carry. Direct bolt-on replaces that stock foot peg, and you'll notice that it's wider. I think the stock pegs are about 40 millimeters wide, and the DRC Ultra Wide is 57 millimeters. So, going to be a lot more comfortable to stand on. Uh, three rows of teeth as opposed to just two, so a lot more traction, uh, just a way better overall foot peg. And uh, DRC not only makes this ultra wide model, they make a standard wide model, which is 50 millimeters wide instead of 57. So that's kind of one option is the DRCs. What we've got installed on the project bike are the Zeta aluminum foot pegs which again are 57 millimeters wide, just like those DRC ultra wides. So a lot wider than the stock pegs, just a bigger platform to stand on, a lot more comfortable. And you got three rows of threaded in cleats for traction. These are aluminum, so they're very lightweight, super durable. You can get them in anodized red like we've got here and then also anodized black. All of these aftermarket foot pegs go right on. They reuse the stock foot peg springs, stock pins and everything. So direct replacement for those stock foot pegs. So one of the best upgrades I think you can do on these, you know, foot pegs are super important. It's one of your contact points on the bike. Uh, so you wanna have, you know, uh, something of good quality there and the proper size. Uh, specifically, like if you stand up a lot, you know, these wider foot pegs are going to be a lot more comfortable. So again, that's the Zeta aluminum foot pegs or the DRC wide and DRC ultra wide. So next up, I will talk about the rear brake pedal. Uh, so the, the stock brake pedal made out of, you know, cheap steel no adjustment or anything on it. Very vulnerable to getting damaged if you hit it on anything, can bend very easily. Uh, so uh, Moose Racing sort of teamed up with Hammerhead Moto and they've come out with this 
forged aluminum rear brake pedal, which is a direct replacement for the stock brake pedal. A lot more durable, it's made out of forged aluminum. Comes in black with the red tip. The tip is adjustable, three different locations. You, I've got it in the middle uh, mounting point, so that's about the same as stock. And then you can move it a couple millimeters forward, a couple millimeters back to kind of fine tune it to your liking. So that's kind of a nice feature of it. It is, you know, somewhat adjustable. Biggest feature for me, I think, is the forged aluminum. It's just going to be more durable. Reuses the stock clevis and your stock springs, the spring on the bottom, as well as the spring there, which activates the brake light. Now these do come with what's called a brake snake, which I don't have installed, but it attaches to the brake pedal here and tethers the brake pedal to your frame. And, you know, some people really like to use those. It helps protect the brake pedal. Like if you catch it on anything, uh, that brake snake can help it keep it from bending. Uh, also can help keep branches and twigs and stuff like that from sort of jamming up between the brake pedal and the frame. Sometimes that can actually apply the brakes when you don't want them to. So a lot of people will actually install this this brake snake, I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna probably do it. We run them on our other off-road and dual sport bikes. So it does come standard with that. It's called a brake snake. And just, like I said, it just tethers the brake pedal itself to the frame of the bike. So that's the Moose Racing rear brake pedal made by Hammerhead Moto. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is shift levers. Uh, stock shift lever, you know, it's made out of steel, so it's not going to be the most durable, but at least it does have a folding tip on it. Now, we carry two different uh, aftermarket uh, shift levers for the bike, both made by Zeta Racing. Uh, both of them are forged aluminum, so they're going to be durable, and both are going to have a folding tip. Uh, what we've got installed on our project bike is the Zeta Revolver shift lever. Uh, this has a folding tip that is also somewhat adjustable. You can see that the, the, there's an offset bolt that attaches the tip to the shift lever arm. And you can loosen that up and rotate the tip around that offset bolt. And it'll move the tip forward, backwards, up and down a couple millimeters. So you can kind of adjust the tip a little bit, you know, uh, using that offset bolt. Zeta also makes just a standard forged aluminum shift lever that doesn't have that adjustability. It's still got the folding tip. It's a little bit less expensive. Both are black uh, with the red and silver folding tip. Direct replacement for the stock lever, you know, bolts right on. Uh, so, real nice upgrade if you want something that looks a little bit nicer and is made out of aluminum instead of that uh, steel that the stock lever is made out of. So again, Zeta Racing standard forged shift lever and then the revolver folding shift lever like we've got here. So that's the shift lever, foot pegs, and the rear brake pedal. All good upgrades on these bikes, if you're do, especially if you're doing any type of off-road riding and want something that's gonna be a little bit more durable, you know, give you a little bit better traction, more comfort if you stand up a lot. You know, all of these are really good ideas. So um, check out our website. We've got uh, a lot of these parts in stock and uh, carry obviously a bunch of other items for these bikes. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, leave a comment down below. I try to check those comments periodically. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We also have an email address on the website. Shoot us an email, we'll get back to you. If you wanna see any more CRF300L videos, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna to try to do more product reviews, product, project bike updates, stuff like that. We haven't done a lot of videos recently 
just been super busy. I haven't had the time, uh, but we're going to try to do more. So subscribe to the channel and you'll see those once they come out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, it's Brett from SR Moto and our Honda CRF 300L project bike. Thanks for watching.